right, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be stepping you through creating the Google RSVP form. All right, this is so that you can send it out for your events that you have coming up. I've had lots of questions on this. I've had a lot of people that have been wanting to do something like this and they didn't know how to do it. They don't want to spend the money on Evite. Uh, Google does the same exact thing and it's free. And so I just wanted to send this little video so that you know how to do what you want to do. All right. So to create a form, we're going to log into Google. We're going to come on here. We're going to click on the nine circles that make a square up here in the top right. When we click on that, we'll get this box and we can scroll through it down at the bottom. You'll see it says forms with this purple uh, form here and you can click on that and that will take you to forms. Now, when you do this, it's going to give you start a new form. It's going to have a bunch of templates in here. You'll see the RSVP. That's the one that we want to use. So we're going to click on the RSVP one. That'll take us to the form. Uh, the first thing that we want to do here is we want to go into the settings. So up in the top right, you'll see this little button here that looks like a gear, and that's going to be our settings. Let's click on that, and that'll bring up the, these options. Now, we want to collect emails. Reason for this, if they don't put in their full name, at least you'll get the email, you'll know who this is. If they just put in Roy as their name and you've got 20 different Roy's, we want to know based on their email which one it is. So collecting the email response is important. Now we're going to go into response receipts. We want to make sure that they get a confirmation of the response. So when we get this, we're going we're gonna to click on response receipts and we're going to click on always. We want them to get a receipt knowing that they signed up. Getting confirmation, they don't, they don't have to worry, they don't have to question it. They got something that told them you signed up. All right. Now the next thing, we're going to go down here. It says limit to one response. We're going to take that away. We want, don't want to deal with people having to log into a Gmail account, not having a Gmail account, all of this hustle and bustle about it. We're going to take that away, make it easy for your people. Okay. Then here at the bottom, it says edit after submit. We don't want that. If someone can go in there and change their answer after they've submitted their answer, they're not going to call you and let you know if they changed it to not attending, you know, four hours before the event. So we want them to have to reach out to you so that you get the heads up so that you're not sitting there expecting them because four hours before the event, you're getting the event ready. You're not worried about coming in here and having to check it every few minutes. All right. So we're going to take that away and not let them change it. Once it's submitted, they're going to have to go through you to let you know that they're going to change their answer. All right. So we'll hit save. That'll make those adjustments for you. Now you can change the event name to whatever you want. Remember, people are going to see this name. So we want to, you know, pie party or whatever it is. We want to put that down there. The other thing is we want the event address. I will suggest the date and the time as well, and then your contact information for any questions, okay? And any other details that they need to know, okay? But that's the important part. Then this email that was made required. So because it's required, you see that little red star right there. Um, because we are, of course, doing this as an RSVP, it has, can you attend as a question? And that's required as well. That's perfect. We want to keep that. Now, what are the names of people attending? It's not marked as required here. We want this to be required. That way people are forced to put in the names of people that are going to be attending. John, Sue, and uh, Liz. Cool, wonderful. Those people are going to be uh, joining us at the event. You know it. Even if you don't have the last name, like I said, you have the email, you'll be able to figure it out. Um, but we want to know who's planning on being there. Okay. Now, we don't need the did you hear about this event. So if we want to delete this, we can go ahead and delete it. Not a big deal at all. All right. Um, just hit, we click on, on the box. So I'm going to click on this one for a second. So we click on the box, click on delete and boom, that's gone. All right. Now, <clears throat> of course, if you're doing the pie party, if you're going to want to ask them what kind of pie, what kind of pie, right? We want this to be an optional thing. So we give it as a multiple choice. We don't want it to be a checkbox because we don't want them to be selecting multiple, right? Because they only want to get one. So we click multiple choice. We put in option one, apple, 
And then we want to add another option. So we're going to click add option here. Option two is going to be Barry. Cool. All right. And that's it. Once we've done that, we make sure that it's required down here. And voila, we got it. We don't need any comments or questions. If you want to keep it there just as an option, that's fine. It doesn't have to be required. Um, but now that we've got everything required, all those things in there, we're solid. The other thing here that I want to point out is you can change the theme too. All right. <clears throat> so two things on the theme. We click on this little art board here, this little paint board, and we can change the header image. So we could close that one out and then it will ask us to take that image away. You see that? We'll click on choose image. We'll be able to select an image. They have a bunch of standard ones. You can upload one. So I'm like, oh, okay, um, because this is a party and it's a pie party or it's a coffee party here. Look, I'm going to use coffee, whatever. Um, but it'll change it. It'll also change the theme colors for what uh, it expects there. Now, if you want to change the theme colors, um, the dark colors here, so this blue, this is just because I'm on it, right? When I, when I click off of it, it'll change. So um, the theme color that you want to pay attention to is this one up here, this dark one. Um, so if I change that, that's going to change the color. It'll automatically change the background color to match, but you can make the background darker or change it to a color that you want um, based on these as well, just depending on what you want the look to look like. Okay, you can also change the font, make it look all fancy, however you want to do it. But those are your options there. Once you're done, you can go ahead and close it. It'll save it as is. And that is that. All right. Once you're completely done with this, we can actually click on send. And we can input everybody's email. Just copy all the emails and paste them in there. If we don't want to send it via this form, we can send it as a link. That's not as fun, though. It doesn't look as good. So I would send it directly through this. Um, and I actually like to include the form in the email. This means that it'll populate in the email. They don't have to click on the link to fill out the form. It's boom, right there in their email. Um, and they can fill it out just with a click of a button. So I like that. Um, I would include that. You can add your little message. You can have your little subject, pipe party 2021 or whatever. Uh, you're invited. And then um, you can have all the emails. Like I said, just copy them all at once and then paste them in there. Um, and that's good. Okay, then you hit send and it would send it to everyone. All right. Now, remember, do not forget to include um, in the, the famous line in gratitude and appreciation for your business and referrals. Bam, that is right here on the front. Okay, right here, I would put it right above the address in gratitude. Oops. <laughs> and appreciation, right? Continue, continue. But I would put it right there so that it's there. It's on the invite here. It's on the invite that you send to them. It's when you're talking about it to show my appreciation, to show my gratitude. But that's a big thing. All right. So we got all that. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions. All right.